Ben. The paper. Flip it over. Your baby, sleepy news. Hold on, guys. Oh, it's Dad's birthday. Man, he getting old. So, Dad, I think the greatest thing that you have taught me um, was all of the years and life lessons and exposure to the scripture. Um, I just remember being five years old and sitting on your lap and um, just you taking me through the scripture, um, which was just so important. So much of the, the devotional times we had in the morning where we were all half asleep and honestly didn't probably remember even much about it. Um, the times that I fought you over Bible quiz, um, all the, acc the acclamation of that um, definitely um, helped create my faith and make it my own. And so I think the greatest thing you've taught me, Dad, is to just um, respect the scripture and to, and to be in it constantly. Um, I have something I saw you model um, every day when I woke up go to go to school. And I can say that so much of uh, my devotional life is due because of the example I saw for you. So thank you for that. I'd say the greatest things that Dad has taught me would be um, playing football um, and playing the drums and the guitar because I got to use that a lot. So. I think the most valuable thing that my dad has taught me is the importance of the Bible. I remember waking up mornings like and this is still this is still a thing where I will wake up at like 3 a.m. or something and he is sitting on his couch with the Bible open like man has probably read every single version of the Bible and it just you know and he gets kind of frustrated whenever <laughs> we go to churches and certain pastors you know like don't specifically bring a lot of the Bible into their messages and I just find it like really funny because he's so passionate about it but it's so awesome at the same time you know like that is our direction to heaven read it know it memorize it let it fight your battles so that is definitely something that you know i think he's definitely taught me is just the importance of the bible and what it means to the church and what it should mean to the church so yeah i think besides uh staying in my scriptures the greatest thing dad has taught me was number one to catch a football and number two how to hunt Truthfully, I honestly wish that I had a better answer than this one, but I think the funniest memory I had with you, Dad, was when we were out on vacation down in Tennessee and you ran into <laughs> the coffee table because of the Oculus. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard being around you before. Oh, oh my gosh! Are you okay? My funniest memory of Dad is whenever it was probably like 2010 or something like that, or nine, and we were playing Risk, and I went and ended my turn, and Dad just screamed at the top of his lungs, Ben, you're an idiot! And then there was some song in the background that started singing, you are the one, you are the one, and I, I don't know, I will ever forget that. It was the stupidest thing, but we reenacted it like, 20 times. Funniest memory of my dad. Probably the time that he flipped off the entire church. Obviously, he didn't mean it in the way that it was. Um, he was going through the five fingers of how to tell the gospel and he came to the middle finger and he stuck it up and he said, this is Christ died for you. And I want to reclaim the middle finger. And everybody in the back row was like, Marissa, look at your dad, look at your dad, look at your dad. And I'm just like, 
And I look over at my mom and she's like, so I think that's probably the funniest moment of my dad. So I have two funniest memories of dad. Um, the first one, I was commentating Ben and you playing Madden and Ben got up by a touchdown and then he just ran the score up after that because I think he threw like an interception or something and you got heated because you don't, you don't lose, you know. So you punched the back of his chair as hard as you could. I was like, oh! And then like I stopped commenting and then you quit. Uh, yeah. So there was that one and then the other one we were at Falco's and we were watching some lawyer video or something or they were doing a zoom call because of covid or whatever and the guy had a filter stuck to him uh and your laugh was just hysterical i've never seen you laugh harder uh but yeah So I'm not sure if I have a singular, like, top favorite childhood memory with, with Dad, but I definitely have a top three. Um, I think number one, uh, I've been playing hiding guns as, a, as kids. Um, I remember Dad had this, like, cowboy-looking pistol that shot blanks, and it would scare me half to death. Um, but those were always fun. We always enjoyed playing hiding guns with Dad. Um, I think the second would probably be all of the times growing up where Dad, you'd take us out into uh, the, the yard and Jeanette and, we, and we'd play wiffle ball and also the times where we would just throw football in the backyard. Um, so much of that is how I became uh, the athlete that I became and uh, so much of the success I had um, in high school and, and in college is so much attributed to you, Dad. Um, so that was just really cool. I do remember one time when we were playing wiffle ball that uh, I think Ben was up to bat and he ended up hitting you in the nuts or something. I, I remember dying about it. It was so funny. Um, but I think the, probably the third memory I have that sticks to mind is the time that, um, well, for all the years that Dad had uh, taught me chess, and the first time that I uh, had beaten him, we were over at Brother Maynard's house, and I set up the chess board while he was talking, and ended up beating him without him paying attention, and I got a shirt. My favorite childhood memory of dad is probably whenever we would play backyard football uh, in the uh, the front yard and Jeanette and we had those big trees and we would run through the little tunnel um, and dad would announce us and we'd get all hyped. Um, and then probably I, when I was seven years old and he first started teaching me the drums and Jeanette, he put me up on his lap and put the sticks in my hands and then just hit around and that was that was really cool childhood memory that my dad I have a lot of them um one memory that does stick out was the day that you know we were off of school you know they canceled school because of the snow and everything like that and he made us all get dressed and he drove us all up to uh Christian assembly and we went to the very top of this hill and if like you knew the hill like it was a steep and he brought his toboggan he brought a ton of different sleds and everything like that and we would just go sledding for hours like he would take the day off work and we would go sledding for hours until we complained that we were cold and then he'd take us home <laughs> but i do remember that very 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 clearly so <laughs> I think the best memory I have with you is obviously going out hunting the first time and that being the last time, well, at least Ben hunted, so yeah. I'd say there's two character traits that that dad has that I would love to emulate. Um, number one, I think that dad, uh, you are you're never afraid to stand alone. Um, and I think you, you're very firm in what you believe, and you really don't care if, if 
10 people or 20 people or 30 people stand by you, or if there's only one, um, you're going to continue to be faithful to what you believe is right. Um, and I, that's something that I, I would want to emulate as well. Um, and I think kind of along with that, when, when dad starts something or he puts his mind to something, um, you know that he's going to give 110% of everything he does. So um, I know that that was something that well, I got to see a lot of, um, especially as dad as a pastor, just how much he served um, and how he was willing to do things alone and, and would stand and wouldn't really give a crap if somebody was going with him or not. But um, yeah, those are two things that I was going to emulate. Um, the best trait that dad has, I don't know, the, the thing that really stuck out to me was that he was our biggest fan. Uh, in sports, uh, he was just really supportive of us, and you'd always hear his big mouth uh, screaming uh, at the football games. Character trait that my dad has that I hope to have with my kids. My dad loves to beat us up. That sounds awful. <laughs> Wait, that sounds bad the way I put that. But like messing around with your kids, being able to be that adult figure and have your kids respect and your kids honor, but also be able to totally mess around with your kids. Like, you know, like I love that about my dad that he can like mess around with us, screw around with us, but at the same time, like we can sit down and have serious conversations with him. So I mean, that's, I mean, he loves to like mess with us and like beat us up, you know? It's just, that sounds so wrong, but it makes sense in our family. <laughs> I think your best character trait is definitely just being a father. Um, it's not being right, because that's annoying sometimes. But uh, I, I want to wake up every day and read the Bible with my kids before they go to school. Uh, I'm gonna spank my kids. I'm gonna tell my kids because I said so. Is all things I look forward to. Um, and I'm gonna teach my kids how to catch a football. So, yeah. So honestly, Dad, um, there's a bunch of things I could put on this list. Um, Dad, you had a you had a lot of foot and mouth moments on up in the pulpit, but I think the two that I remember the most, um, number one was when uh, it was it was a Sunday, and I think you were praying. I think it was over Robin Bell, and you were praying very loud, very passionate, and you started stumbling over your words, and eventually you just heard in the back, "Oh, what's the what's the word I'm looking for, Lord? What is it?" <laughs> And we all looked at each other like, oh my gosh. So that would be the first one. And I think the close second um, would be the time where I think you were announcing the, the men's breakfast that for the Washington County or whatever. And I think you made some remarks, something along the lines of, um, so if you were a man, you can, you can come to the men's breakfast this upcoming Saturday. Um, but also, if you're a woman who identifies as a man, I suppose you could come too. And everyone just rolled their eyes and put their head uh, in their hands over that. So I think those were probably the top two uh, funniest moments. The funniest pastoral moment would be probably Kids Camp of 2009. Uh, we had Reardon Tush in the back of a church van, and Dad was the counselor for our week of Kids Camp. and. Reardon started calling Dad Pastor Pee Pee whenever uh, he was talking to Doug Sayers, and he kept telling him to stop, and he didn't. So Dad crawled into the back of the van as Reardon's trying to like hide underneath the table or the the chairs and stuff like that, and he drug him out, gave him Charlie horses, and beat him up, and he still wouldn't stop. It was just, it was funny. Funniest thing my dad ever said as a pastor, I think it goes along with the whole flipping the church off, just a different situation about Ben. So I remember a time that, I forget specifically what he was preaching on, but basically he was trying to make an illustration. So he brought a sword to church and he, you know, uncased it, it's flinging it around, you know, whatever. But he said, I was gonna bring a gun, but there was three reasons I didn't bring a gun. One, probably not appropriate. 
Two, it would have been the only thing that Ben got from the message. And three, the church would have killed me. <laughs> so I remember that. And we come home that day. And literally the only thing that Ben could talk about anyways is the freaking sword. So I mean, mission not accomplished, but he tried. So I thought that was funny. Favorite pastoral moment, Christ died for you. Happy 50th birthday, dad. Uh, we love you and we are believing that your best days are not behind you, but they're ahead of you.